Hello everybody and welcome into the SFA Season 14 Week 6 Game Day. We are here in the Big Ten where number 8 Michigan is going to take on number 12 Maryland and coach Papa Smoke in College Park. This is going to be a great game. Let me know if you can hear me before we get started. And if this is your first uh, time watching the SFA, yes, we are in Season 14, but it's never too late to join. You can always join, claim an open team. You can um, set the playbooks. You can set the depth charts, and you can recruit, hire coordinators, uh, participate in our fully functional sports book, our fully functional stock market, and it's a great community to be a part of. And uh, links are in any of our descriptions if you do want to join. And um, if you guys are watching live with us, uh, we are affiliated, so uh, please consider following and also uh, subscribing with your Twitch Prime, a and uh, you you won't miss any of the action, no commercials, and then um, also any and all revenue made through the Twitch does go back to you guys if you win the national championship. I'll send you a care package to your house containing a trophy and some merch from your from your school. And where will that merch come from, folks? Well, our friends over at Home Field, uh, Home Field Apparel, a great affiliate of ours, um, the, the best college apparel I've ever seen, uh, vintage designs, they have over 180 plus collections, it's not just football stuff, they go deep dive into each individual school's history, those old logos, um, very, very cool design, check them out, you can use code SFA for 15% off your first purchase, does work once per email, and you can also support us with our link as well, which is in Twitch chat or any of our descriptions, and um, they just dropped UMass, UConn, Indiana, and Purdue merch all within the last 48 hours. So check them out. And uh, and if you want more SFA content between the weeks, uh, you can check out SFA Patreon, uh, patreon.com backslash the SFA. Uh, you get additional game day each week, and you also get a exclusive Patreon push um, or playoff push podcast by me. And you can also always super easily follow us on Instagram at Simulate Football Association. I post a daily media story over there as well. So uh, the game was predicting rain for this game. So we'll see if it comes through. Um, welcome in, guys. We've got uh, Coach Papa Smoke joining. He says he's in an ad. Well, that's a good reason to use your Twitch Prime, my guy. Uh, so we've got Michigan here, and they are starting a red shirt or not, not a red shirt, a backup quarterback. John Hodges will be making the start because Love uh, dislocated or broke his ankle. I don't remember which one. I think he broke his ankle. So he will be getting the start. As always, remember, we're going to go through both rosters so you know who's on the field, and then we'll get into the game. James Draws, the SFA player, the power back. Uh, remember, this is a Michigan team that made the Big Ten Championship last season, so we'll see if they can... Uh, right the ship and keep it going today. You got Chris Swain, the senior, very speedy. Jason Phillips, more of a possession guy. And Lucas Richard, the freshman in the slot. At tight end, you got David Greer and Ryan Hall. Probably will see a lot of power to tight end sets with this team. And they have one of the best offensive lines in the country. You got Seth Chung, SFA player there in the middle. Ryan Archer, like almost all 90 plus overalls or mid 80s, right? This is a absolutely insane uh, offensive line. And on the defensive line, Jonathan Perry. On the other side, Kerry Lowry, very, very good. Kurt Johnson and Bubba Mois. These games oftentimes are decided in the trenches. Well, there may be none better than the Michigan Wolverines. At linebacker, you got Patrick Concepcion. You got Drew Clark and a SFA player, Cheeto. He makes his game day debut. He, we've seen him before on Bear Cave. We'll see if he becomes a big time player today and a factor in this game. Uh, you got Jimmy George here, right outside linebacker. And the corners, you got Mark Cameron, you got Kyle McCoy, and Derek Fritz. At safety, Donnie Russell and the SFA player, Brody Byron. Uh, 88 overall here in his senior year and their kicker is Kevin Ratliff we'll see how he's done this year he is not so great three of six he's a better punter than kicker good accuracy bad power so now we got to go check on Maryland who is a dark horse this year they just beat uh, Ohio State in a in a very good game on Bear Cave uh, led by coach Papa Smoke and the transfer from Michigan State Jerry Schmierman. He has an NIL deal with Einstein's bagels, baby. The Schmier is uh, is here. 
on on game day and their running back is going to be brent jackson uh this is a team that loves to throw the ball so we're going to see how much they end up running it but they got luke pearson one of the best wide receivers in the country sfa player bryson warden who is absolutely going crazy this year in the stats you got Matt Payne in the slot, and then it falls off a cliff. So it's really a three-man show. They're just going to be running a lot of three wide sets. Tight end Aaron Taylor and Ron Samuel. And Tank Brinks is hurt, one of the best uh, SFA tackles out there. And starting in his spot, we'll get there a little later. But Drew Mills here. You've got Motley. You've got... Purvis Wigglesworth, he does not start at right guard. No, no, he is the guy starting at left tackle now. Number 69, the SFA player. He can also play fullback, so he's very, very good on those poles. So if they end up, you know, he's playing left tackle, so more of a passing, you know, spot to, to guard. But, uh, you know, on a toss or something, Purvis might be making a move today. And Dylan Sussywell, the other SFA player on the right side. At left end, you've got... Uh, Brandon Cochran, I believe, plays on one end. Ben Allen on the other. And Mike Meadows in the middle here, along with Larry Morgan. Linebackers, Anthony Johnson. Yamari oh no, the SFA player, came into the SFA as a strong safety, got converted to a linebacker, and he looks to be decent. Uh, Talib Bass here, right outside linebacker. And then the corners. You've got 99 speed, Derek Roach, Tony Sullivan, Nick Miller, and it kind of falls off a cliff. So not a lot of depth for this Maryland team, but you got Brandon Slater here and freshman Paris Hood. Their kicker is Carl Guerrero. Um, he is better kick power than the Michigan guy, but a lot worse accuracy. So that is what the rosters look like, folks. This is going to be a good game for sure. Um, so Papa Smoke, if you have a jersey request, let me know. Um, I'm going to first get my... Uh, get my thumbnail and let me start the prediction first so you guys can start betting on this game our instagram poll was heavily heavily favoring Mi um, maryland today but i think that's more people who are who are you cheering for but when bob and us are on the line who are you gonna go with so get those bob and us ready um got two minutes going here so Coach Papa Smoke, if you are here, let me know what jerseys you would like to wear. And just while we're waiting, I just want to make sure I check, I uh, I test my Twitch notifications. There we go. Can we do red pride with black pride pants? Okay, I'll see if those are available. Remember, we're, we're on a older style of revamp. So, um, so these are your options. I see probably this one is the red throwback or... If you want to do pride. So what do you want to do? Do you want to do the throwback red with the... With the black pants like that? So let me know if that's what you want. And... Uh, and this game, it is a five-point favorite for the Michigan Wolverines um oh let's actually do all black all right looks good to me so that means Michigan will be yeah I gotta gotta change this oh are we gonna do an all maze I think so we're gonna do maze versus black here today Maze versus Black. So this is a five-point favorite for Michigan. And uh, if you're betting on this game, it's also a 52 and a half on the over-under. And then we also introduced something um, very fun. I raised the amount for the game day pick them, or raised the odds. And so if you bet 100 coins, that's the highest you can bet. And you pick the game day score, that's enough for a reject. So 100 coins each week gets you guys involved. So let me know what, what your score predictions were. I think I put this week 34-28 is my prediction. So drop what, which, what kind of bet you dropped. If you're not betting on the game day score, what are you doing? It's a free reject for 100 coins. You get more than that in, in a daily alone. So you guys should be betting the game day score every single week. Somebody should be hitting it every single week. Uh, probably not, but it's, it's a very hard thing to predict. But you don't have to predict the winner or anything. It's just the score. Um, 
All right, and remember, we, we also do the same game parlay, so all you have to do is pick two. So, uh, Mike bet the over. So I, I, I always put in like a three or four or five leg thing. I've hit it twice now on the game day parlays. So we'll see. I'm, I'm leaning heavily into James draws on the Michigan side. So we'll see what happens with him as, all right, we are going to get into this game now. And it's number eight, Michigan and number 12, Maryland. I think if the rain hits like it did when I was getting my graphic as I'll flash it again here, um, the game predicted rain. For, the, for today when I was getting my graphic. Um, I think that, that definitely helps a Michigan offense who wants to play a lot slower. And it's not raining. That means Maryland's high-powered offense is going to be okay. Oh, baby, there's Seth Chung. He's ready. The center. I want to see Purvis Wigglesworth. There he is behind the coach. Coach Papa Smoke. Here we go, folks. And we've got back-to-back -back Big 12 or Big 10 teams at Iowa last week in the Gloop debut on stream. Now we've got Michigan. We got Cheeto. We got Purvis Wigglesworth. We got some iconic SFA players like Jerry Schmierman playing today that we don't often get to see. So this is going to be a banger. I'm going to skip through this so that I can have my UI. No rain. It definitely helps out Coach Papa. So here we go. We're going to see Schmierman first, the home team. We've got Maze and Black today. A beautiful looking game day coming at us live here tonight. And we are off here in week six as that is a deep shot. So this is a Big Ten conference game. And this division, the winner of this game, will probably have a pretty decent foothold as Ohio State seems to be out of the picture. So you got Schmierman coming out under center. Bryson Warden, and they're going to chuck it a deep on the first play. Schmierman, he does not complete that one. Looking for Pearson. So interesting start there for sure. Schmierman, he is a bit undersized. He kind of has that Drew Brees uh, build. He was a Michigan State quarterback. Had a broken promise with McNasty. Transferred to Papa as we get split backs on the second play and dumping that off and that is going to be a uh, pretty short gain here to Luke Pearson the top receiving target so already a third and pretty long here to start the game Schmierman it's going to be a screen pass it is complete a lot of green grass and nice block there and a couple broken tackles multiple spin moves Brent Jackson first down So Maryland keeps the drive alive, and I believe Purvis Wigglesworth was the lead blocker there. As you get Jerry Schmierman, he delivers a strike, and there's Luke Pearson again. So that's not going to be good for uh, Michigan if they can't tackle. Remember, number 54, linebacker, he is Cheeto. He's the man to watch. And then Bry Byron Bryan um, at strong safety. As Schmierman's going to throw it again. This is a team that loves to throw the ball. They dump it off here. That's Matt Payne, the slot guy. He gets seven. Byron on the tackle. Four or five start here for Schmierman. He's four or four in his last four. Got Wigglesworth there at left tackle. Seems to be holding up for right now. As Tank Brinks will miss the majority of the season. They hand it off to, uh, to Brent Jackson here. He gets a first down. He's definitely a, uh, a very oversized running back, I, I guess compared to Schmierman at least. Schmierman's very small back there as he looks so tiny compared to those um, those other guys in the backfields. We're going to throw it again here. Taken off now and he goes down. Schmierman is sacked. So big chance here for Michigan now to get off the field is that's Johnson on the sack. Working on that right side. So that was on Dylan Sussiewell, the freshman. Coach Papa Smoke brought in Wigglesworth and Sussiewell together to anchor that right side. So second and 16 now. Luke Pearson up top. Um, not getting pressed. Schmierman again has some time and dumps that one off. It's a, it's a bit off target there to the tight end Aaron, Aaron Taylor as it's going to be a third and long here. And remember, both these kickers are, are less than stellar. So um, we may see a lot of aggressive fourth down calls today. So at the 40, Byron inching down. They audible now, so he has to retreat. Taylor out one-on-one in the slot. 
They're going to bring the safety. It's a delay give, and he's brought down. Fourth and 15. They snuff that one out. Drive is over. No, they're going for it here. So I thought that they were just going to punt it, but they're going for it on 4th and 15 from the 39. Is they're going to delay, give it again to Jackson, and he goes down. Cheeto brings him down. So a turnover to get us started. So two draws there back to back. I'm not all impressed with that, unfortunately. So here comes Michigan. Remember, backup quarterback John Hodges. James draws in the backfield. He is the power back. And broken tackle there to start. Going to have to really hope that this defensive line can do something against one of the best offensive lines in the country. Normally when you see an elite offensive line in the SFA, it's about mid-80s. This is mostly low 90s on this offensive line. So second and six for Hodges. They're just going to hand it off to draws again. He has a hole. Nice tackle there. So an early third down here for Maryland. So third and two. A little uh, trio there, top of your screen. They're going to hand it off to Draws. He goes outside and he finds some room. There he goes. Easy conversion. 14 yards for Draws. So now they're in business at the 41 of the opposing territory. No throws yet for the freshman. Man in motion. And only four-man rush, and they're yamming that one to the corner, and it's incomplete. The receiver couldn't track his feet in bounds. Maryland gets lucky there. Yeah, uh, Papa, they, they went for it because your kicker doesn't have enough power, so they just automatically go for it regardless of your aggressiveness. So second and ten now. We got split backs. Interesting formation there. Is they're gonna hand it off to Drazi as a whole. And uh gotta say I'm impressed with the tackling so far for Maryland. They they haven't let um James fall forward, even though he is averaging seven, but it's third and four. Remember, not a good field goal team, so four down territory for Michigan as well. Man in motion again. They're crowding the line of scrimmage. And quick option, and they're not gonna get the pitch off. That's going to go down negative. Maryland gets a stop. It's Nick Miller. And they're going for it now. So back to so same kind of uh, outcome. So fourth and seven. Can Maryland get a stop as well? Split backs. So they're going to hand it off. It's a delayed give. Can they stop a broken tackle? Yes, they do. Maryland gets the ball back. So identical results here from both teams. These teams might be a lot more similar than we than we originally thought. Both teams turning it over on downs here early on. We're going to see another defensive battle today. As uh, Maryland comes out in the I formation, interesting. We don't we didn't really projecting a lot of running from them as he goes down in the backfield. Concepcion gets his first tackle of the day. It's a tackle for loss. I formation again, this time with the offset. As they're going to throw it here. Three-step drop, dumps it off to behind the line. And they end up losing some yardage on that as Jimmy George tracks him down. So already third and long again for the Terps. And this might be one of those old Smash Mouth style Big Ten games. Third and 11 here for Schmierman. He's out empty. Bryson Warren, top of your screen. You've yet to call his name today. And over the middle, he connects with the Taylor. And they give him the first down. Nice conversion there. Keeps the drive alive. And that's what they need to do. They need to stop running the ball so much. This is a team that has lived through the air. It's how they beat Ohio State in the big house. Or in the horseshoe. The big house is Michigan. Second and three. This first quarter is bleeding away. This is only our third possession. That's kind of what you do with against Michigan. Very few possessions. Brent Taylor. He finds a hole this time. Stiffy's a man. Gets about nine. So 
So first and 10 here for the Terps as they are once again across midfield. Almost to where that they stalled the last drive. Another handoff, Brent. He shrugs off a man, and oh, if he would have found that outside room, he could have been going the distance, but he only gets four. So Maryland running it a lot more than I thought. It was already sixth carry here for Brent, for Brent Jackson. So second and six. Handoff again up the gut. Another big gain. All right, Maryland, if they're able to run the ball. This could be opening a new dynamic. They've not really been able to run the ball much at all this year as Maryland's cooking on on, uh, on first downs as they're now around the 30. Schmierman again under center. They hand off again. This time he goes down the backfield. Got to give, gotta give Maryland credit that they're sticking with the run here. Second and seven, once again under center. They're going to throw it. Three-step drop, dumps that off to the running back again. Broken tackle. Brent Jackson loves that spin move. It's the third or fourth time we've seen that so far. So third and seven inside the 30. We might be in fringe field goal range, but we expect Schmierman to attempt to pick this one up. And free blitzer. He hits his man first down. But the ball's on the ground. They recover. Luke Pearson first down. And we are going to get a review. So they're probably going to call that fumble back to the original spot. Move it back a couple of yards. Pearson, though, that's already his third big catch. Or was this a fumble? No, no, he was down. He was down. Reversed, it doesn't matter. It, it really just moves the ball back a couple of yards. We are still in the red zone. Our first time in the red zone today. More offset eye here. Warden, top of your screen. They hand it off, and that goes nowhere. TFL there for Jimmy George. So first quarter continues to tick away. We don't have a score quite yet. Maryland is threatening. That left side looks juicy, man. Toss it out there with, with uh, Purvis. They are going to run it that way as Jackson gets about four. And he already has 13 carries here in the first quarter. So definitely a different game plan than we were expecting up in the booth. Potentially final play of the quarter here for Maryland. They do get it off. Schmierman over the middle. Hits his man. Shoestring tackle keeps Pearson out of the end zone. As we end the first quarter, we are scoreless, but Maryland is knocking on the door. 0-0, zero, zero. we got a moom, <laughs> the moom on the graphic. So we flip sides now. Pearson already is fourth catch. He's isolated on that left-hand side. First and goal. Schmierman under center. They hand it off, and another big-time stop there in the backfield. Jonathan Perry running on over Sussywell and bringing him down. You got to think that Sussywell kind of getting bullied there on uh, so far in this first half. But we're out empty. Second and goal. Schmerman's going to take off. He finds some room. Oh, what a pancake. And he gets down to the three. That pancake was electric. Can they punch it in? Third and goal for the Terrapins. Warden in motion. They're going to throw it. Schmierman dumps that off. Can he get there? A stiffy? No, he's just short. They're going for it again, so they're not taking the field goal. They know touchdowns are going to be hard to come by today, so they want it. Fourth and goal. Taylor in motion. This is a very aggressive call from uh, Papa Smoke. Schmierman takes off and he gets stuffed. Oh no, Michigan takes over. We've had three drives and three turnover on downs. Unbelievable start here is now, this is Michigan. We're already in the second quarter. This is only their second drive. 
as we're going to get a handoff to Draws, and he goes down at the line of scrimmage. This is, this is a very similar start to the Iowa State-Iowa game from last week. That game ended up picking up around uh, the end of the second quarter, but this one so far, this has been a... Uh, a battle of the brutes is Hodges. He floats this one out, and he just hasn't looked comfortable there. He's overthrown both of his men so far. Remember, he is a backup quarterback. So we got a third and nine now for Michigan, backed up in their own territory. They're in shotgun. And over the middle hits his man. First down, Lucas Richard. Much needed there. As much needed as, you know, the, the defense has to be gassed after that long, long drive on the last one. So not going three and out, keeping you guys out here at least for another four downs. So I formation with draws. That left side looking good, but they're going to go quick option here. Interesting. Using John Hodge's running ability as he gets about three. So second and seven now. We've yet to really call Yamari Ono's name. Number, uh, he's up around the line there. They blitz, pick it up, and a beautiful tip away. A great play by the linebacker, and that's always uh, scary to leave your feet. But it worked out there. So the tip now, it's third and seven. Hodges again, plenty of time, and he's on the run now, and he goes down. A sack for the Terps. They're going to get the ball back. Mike Meadows. So Maryland has pretty much dominated this game, I'd say. I mean, they don't have any points to show for it, but the defense has been incredible. The offense is running the ball. Now they've just got to find a way to get on the score sheet. As we're going to get a punt now. Hopefully punting will be better than Willie Anderson last week. As we're going to get a punt here it is decent. We are going to get a return now. Nice blocking. Derek Roach, the 99 speed corner, gets to about the 48. So out comes Schmierman now. Two empty possessions. We finally have our first drive not end in a turnover on downs. So first and 10 here. Are they going to adjust their uh, their offense at all? Going to throw it here. Only a four-man rush. Meerman does take off. He escapes, and he meets Cheeto in the middle, and he goes down. <laughs> I, I had to throw the Willie Anderson stray. Second and four now here. Hand off to Jackson. He's getting a big workload here today. Much more than I thought. So third and three now. Chance for Michigan to once again get off the field. Delayed give, and that's going nowhere. Three and out for Maryland. So a punt now. They finally decide to punt the ball. They learned from the previous two possessions. We'll see if they can pin them deep. No fake here. We saw that in the Western Kentucky game earlier this week. As this is a beautiful coffin corner. Once again, Moyer is able to pin him deep. Pinning him at the 11. So how will Michigan respond? They've really not been able to run much of an offense today so far. James Draws gets four, but he, he hasn't really been able to use his power abilities. He's not creating extra yards thus far. And they're really trying to lean on the running game as they don't want to put the hand in put the game in the hands of um, of the freshman quarterback as this one's dropped. One for five start for Hodges. And that one wasn't his fault. He put it on a dime. So once again, these DBs are playing very, very well. Third and six. Hodges, they bring corner blitz. Picked up and hits draws. But he's going to be short. Another three and out. So 
So out comes the punt team again. So already a ton more possessions than we saw in the first quarter. We only saw uh, three possessions as broken tackle there for Roach. He had the twi the he had the tip away or the breakup to stop the the drive, and now he gets him in nice field position. As we're creeping up to halftime, still no score. We got the mo mo on the on the bottom line here. We got the W on the field. Maryland's looking to go five and zero. Remember, this is a team that's been five and seven for what seems like the for an eternity. It's been the last four or five straight years. So nice little start to the drive here. Can Schmierman get some points? Second and four. Oh, they faked the handoff to the... They they did a quick pump fake. Faked me out. Handoff to Jackson. He has 17 carries, but he only is averaging 2.2 yards. So Maryland or Michigan's doing their part on the rush defense. Third and three here. We're going to change the play. Bryson Warden alone at the top of your screen. Only a four-man rush delayed. And they're going to hit Payne, and that's a first down. All right, so once again in scoring position, it seems like Maryland is living in the Michigan end today. But they still have no points. We bring a blitz this time. Yamming it deep. Open man. Touchdown, Maryland. Luke Pearson gets him on the board. The Terps take a 7-0 lead here on game day. Broken coverage. Here we go, Maryland. All right, let's cook, baby. So a big play here from Maryland. They break ground first. Seven to zero start. As the underbetters are loving this game thus far. We'll see if Michigan can get anything going. They've yet to have a drive where they've really done much of anything. Their very first drive was their best drive. They got two first downs out of it. Two minutes, 44 seconds left. Remember, Maryland or Michigan will get the ball after half, so they can easily double them up here. They just got to get draws running the rock. And once again, he gets three yards. This time he created a bit of extra. So second and seven here as we approach the two-minute mark. Another handoff to draws. This time he gets a hole. He creates extra yards and he falls forward for seven. That's what you got to do. That's what makes a great tailback. Who cares about your ratings? If you're hit on first contact if, and you go down, you are not a good running back. You got to be able to create that extra yardage. Hodges now. We got a tight end in motion here. It's Greer. A delayed give to draws. He finds a little bit of room, but he goes down once again after three. They're hanging on to all three of those timeouts. Already up to 52 yards. And draws really been the entire offense as far as, once again, two tight ends set under center. See if they can get these tight ends involved at all. Phillips in motion. Another delay give to draws, and he can't find the hole, and he goes down again. Brandon Cochran, the transfer from Old Dominion, player of the week last week in that Ohio State game. Third and seven now here for Michigan. Two backs, that's Draws out to uh, to the slot here, and they blitz, they go to Draws. He breaks a tackle, but he can't get there. Another fourth down. Maryland's defense is reeling. Is they're going to have a chance to add some points before halftime? Unless Michigan can pin them deep, and they cannot. So first half completely dominated. First half completely dominated by the Maryland Ter Terrapins defense, along with some missed opportunities for Maryland, but they still have the lead. And a blitz here, and they stumble through. Somehow get six out of that. Jarkus can uh, Jarkus with the best uh, with the best ad for for a sub 
Another blitz, Smearman. He decides to take off. Beautiful blocking, but he slides short of the first clock. Remains to tick away. They're going to hurry it up here. 42 seconds left. Schmierman, another blitz incoming. Schmierman takes off again. He escapes and another first down. So 37 seconds left. One timeout here for the Terps. He hits his man. There's Pearson again. He's been a complete thorn in the Michigan side thus far. Already up to 79 yards. And Schmierman, he takes off again. He has room. Oh, what a cut. And another first down for Schmierman. They hurry it up again. They're at the 45. Clock is ticking. 24 seconds left. Schmierman again. He takes off again. Another hole for Schmierman as he slides under Cheeto. And they take their final timeout. Still probably not in field goal range. I'd say they need another 10 to 15 yards. 20 seconds left here for the Terps. Schmierman, a big throw and just overthrows Pearson. That was going to take a perfect pass. It's only his second incompletion. He was on a 13 uh, streak. So third and four here. Schmierman over the middle. He finds his man. It's Pearson again. This is a Pearson solo act today. 13 seconds left. They are going to spike it. Are they comfortable? So the question is, are they comfortable bringing out the field goal team or are they going to go for it? They are going to run a real play here. So nine seconds left in the half. Can Maryland add points? Anything short of the 15 is going to end the half. We're yamming it to the end zone. One on one and it's tipped away. And no, oh, McCoy drops the pick. So the drop is going to give him a chance here to add three. From right hash, it's about a 42-yarder. This is going to be fringe field goal range. The kick is up, and it is good for Maryland. Plenty of leg in that one. So a 10-0 lead here at halftime for uh, for Maryland, a, I, I know everybody was cheering for for Maryland coming in today, but definitely a surprising result. Uh, we definitely thought Michigan was going to put up more of a fight. But as we hit halftime, folks, remember it is the SFA. Um, check out our friends over at Home Field for the best apparel. Uh, I posted um, in the poll on Instagram, if you saw it, a crazy-looking Maryland Terrapin shirt. They have some cool stuff for the Terps. Uh, all your favorite schools on there with your favorite vintage logos. Check out the SFA, 15% off your first purchase. And uh, follow us on Instagram, Simulated Football Association. Yeah, Jarkis, I had to approve your message because, uh, but but hey, that that's always the that that's always the best ad for for Twitch Prime, right? These four commercials can fuck off. Yeah, this is an incredible game. I'm very I'm um, really enjoying this. The pain of my parlay, depending on the over hitting. Yeah, the, the over might be tough here. But if this if this starts to cook like the like the game day, but oh my look at the time of possession though. Maryland is absolutely throttling Michigan there. They are dominating the Michigan men. As Dave Portnoy would like to say. Right now, Dave Portnoy is on Twitter posting uh something about how we're Michigan man we're not gonna let these Maryland guys get to us sure we got punched in the teeth but we're gonna come out and and destroy them so we'll see if the Michigan men can respond as Terrapins they have a sack this backup quarterback hasn't been able to do much so here we go can Michigan make a comeback at all it was a very very rough first half draws was really the only offense and he barely did anything you're gonna hand it off to him here at track down and i believe that's yamara oh no the sfa player it is the converted safety to linebacker and once again draws unable to make extra yards so second and seven fakes the reverse there's a broken tackle from draws as he powers forward for nine see that's what we're expecting 
That's the play that I've been expecting all day long from him. See if he can put a few of these runs together as they hand it off again. Once again, unable to do it. So second and ten now. John Hodges, he's really been uninspiring in the in the past game as well. So this Michigan offense definitely have their wings clipped right now, but they are throwing it here. Hodges throws it, and this time it's complete. Greer does get the toe in. The tight end gets him a first. So this is a nice little drive here from Michigan coming out of half under center now. Audible to under center. They're going to throw it. And nice pocket. We're yamming it deep. Two on one. And the safety makes the play. Ernest Wilson. Unbelievable play from the safety there. That's the third time that the, that the Maryland defenders have been able to make a play on the ball. So second and ten now. Delay give to draws. He pushes forward for about six. Third and five now for Michigan. And they need this first for many reasons. One, confidence. Two, time of possession. Three, they need points as we're going to get a blitz. He dumps it off. It's complete. That's a big first down for Michigan. Chris Swain finally getting involved. The top target. All right, they're moving the rock. They're just outside the 30. Can Michigan find a way to get back into this game? Under center, a very deep drop for Hodges. Plenty of time. Dumps this one off. Oh, that was like thrown into three people. Yamara, oh no, can't tip it. Hodges is five for 11 here. 53 yards on the day. Second and 10 now. Bunch formation. They toss it out to the bunch, and Draws can't get out there. Once again, he's dragged down from behind. He's letting these soft arm tackles bring him down. He's bigger running back. Sometimes all you need to do is chop him down at the knee. So split back formation here, third and six. They're going to try a screen. A lot of room down the sideline. He stays up. Greg Rogers for 12. Another first down. A very long drive mounting now for Michigan. Michigan men, they're in the red zone. Under center. They're going to throw it here. Well, five step drop to the end zone. Out of bounds. That was a throwaway. This Maryland, uh, this Maryland secondary is feasting on Hodges. Can they hold? Second and ten now. They're going to throw it again. Hodges, float it to the end zone, Swain, touchdown Michigan! Chris Swain gets behind the secondary, and John Hodges drops it right in the bucket. They're back in it. A beautiful uh, opening drive here out of the half for Michigan. Showing everybody why they are indeed the number eight team in the nation. What a great throw, what a beautiful drive. Whatever they said at halftime, maybe it was the, the Portnoy pep talk. But uh, got, him, uh, got him back in it. So how's Papa smoking and react? That was, a, that was a marvelous opening half or opening drive here. So Maryland now only a three-point lead, even though they, uh, I mean, the, 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 the stats indicate you'd be up by a couple of scores at least um so schmierman comes back out we get an audible on the defensive end they're gonna blitz but brent jackson gets the handoff and he finds his way jackson's definitely been a surprise today i mean it, at least with his volume 19 carries only 52 yards but you gotta think eventually he'll find some space we've got eight in the box here they're selling out for the run on the defense schmierman makes an audible and he takes off. He does find some room, and he gets hit hard. He lowered his head trying to get the first down, and it did not happen. Sometimes that small frame doesn't help you. Because you got a lot of people cheering for the over. <laughs> 
So third and inches now. Can Maryland keep the drive going? Hand off here. Jackson, and he stacked up in the spot. He's short. Jimmy George again, his third TFL of the day. So a big time stop for the defense, and Michigan gets the ball right back, folks. As we're going to get a nice little punt return here. Nice move. And Fritz gets about 15. So here comes Michigan now. And you got to think Hodges after that beautiful touchdown throw to Swain. He's got a bit more confidence. Are they going to open up the pass game a little bit more? Are they going to just keep pounding with draws? Will they come out and split back set? Will they get Rodgers involved more? Max Protect here dumping it off. And might have been like a delayed screen to Greg Rodgers. I like that play. Feels like, the, feels like the crowd here in College Park is getting a bit quiet now. Feel the momentum shift into the away team. The maze is starting to... Oh, and there's a tackle in the backfield. Right when I say it might be switching. Ernest Wilson again. He had the nice tip on the last drive. This time brings down draws in the backfield. So third and four now here for Michigan. To keep the drive alive here as we're halfway through the third quarter. Draws to the outside. He breaks one. He breaks another. He falls forward and he's short. Another big stop here for Maryland. And they are going for it on their own 44. Oh boy. Getting extremely aggressive here in shotgun. We got Hodges. He has time. And it's caught over the middle. The drive extends. That was insane. All right, so here we go. First and 10. Maryland doubling down on this drive, and they're now getting the time of possession as they dump this one off, and that's incomplete. No uh, no pass interference as that was inside the five yards, so they, they were able to still jam there. So that's why there was a no call on the corner there. Second and 10, bunch to the top of the screen. Hodges hands it off to Draws once again going down the backfield. Not much doing here for Michigan. A third and ten pretty much in the same spot where they just went for it. Split back set. Can they keep this drive going? Hodges, he dumps it off here. There's Rodgers and he gets pushed out after two. So another decision here now for Michigan. And this time, they're going to punt it. So they went for it for no... Uh, they're not committing to the drive now as they try to pin him deep, and that goes out the back of the end zone. So here comes Maryland now. They maintain the 10-7 lead as the third quarter come to an end. We have about 12 minutes left here in game day where the possessions start to become a bit more meaningful. Jerry Schmerman, as he gets about two, you never know when it's going to be your last possession of the game. And judged by these offenses, the way Michigan kind of, I'll quote Joe Klatt here, he, he calls them the boa constrictor. They just hang in there with you and they squeeze you away as Schmerman throws this one away again. Similar to the very opening play of the game. So a third and eight now, 60% uh, third down completion rate. Third and eight for Schmierman. We've yet to see Warden really get involved here. He's bottom of your screen. They're yamming it deep to him. One on one. It's caught in stride. A broken tackle. There he goes. Touchdown, Maryland. Bryson Warden, the SFA player, makes a statement. They tried to go for the pick, and he just got clowned on. What a grab is right. Completely changing the game here is Bryson Warden. The SFA player, the in-game recruit, he was the number two prospect in the class a couple of years ago, and he is having an insane season, and he continues to roll here. Schmierman to Warden. 
the connection lives on as we check in on this game. Rutgers ended up surviving Middle Tennessee State. So now if you're Michigan, I mean, you this was the second half for Michigan. They were cooking. And now you're back to square one, down 10. We're going to get a return here. It's Fritz. He finds a little bit of room, angles out, and he gets about 26. But yeah, they got to be feel a bit dejected as they dominate this third quarter, but one play keeps it at that 10-point mark. So back to work goes Hodges. It's just been so difficult on offense. Nothing has come easy for them today as Joe, that's a that's a big time stiffy there. Draws gets nine. He's up to 82 here. Approaching is over. He needs to get to, I think, a 114. It's part of my uh part of my same game parlay is please run a counter to the left side. Second and one. They do run a draw. Draws another stiffy. He's still going. And if draws can start to heat up, that's going to mean big, big things here. Nice run there. So Michigan, it's going to be a read option here. Hodges keeps it, and he meets the safety, and he gets about nine. So second and one now, they are across the 50. A nice response mounting here for Michigan, but at what point are these drives going to be taking too long? They float this one, and it was hit over the middle. They couldn't hang on. That was an ambulance throw. These young quarterbacks don't know how to throw with leverage appropriately. They put their men in uh, tough situations, leading to drops. So a third and one now, they hand it to draws. Easy conversion for him there as he falls forward for about three. But this third quarter starting to tick away. Up to 95 here for Draws. Forty seconds left here in the third quarter. And another read option. Hodges keeps it and he goes down. He he made the right call, but he didn't attack the he didn't attack the hole. He, he stumbled around the backfield a little bit. Second and nine now, back under center. They are going to throw it now. And a nice throw there is Swain. He gets a first down. That makes it first and ten. So last play here of the third quarter. Unless they don't get it off. No, they will. Fakes the handoff. They might be taking a shot here. They are to the end zone. One on one. And it's intercepted by Maryland. The 50 50 ball goes to the Terps as we end the third quarter. Then that might do it. The 50 50 ball. We had the 50 50 ball the other way. Bryson Warden came down with it. This time, the Maryland defender got it. Oh, baby. So now we get some uh, trickery here. The jet sweep to Matt Payne doesn't work, but you got nine minutes. You're up 10. Cheeto gets a TFL here. His first of the day. If you bet the over for those, you, you might be struggling. Second and 11 now. Maryland, or M Michigan desperately needs a defense to, to get a stop here or a big play, something, as they do hit him short of the line, so it's going to be a third down. But how can you not be impressed with Maryland, man? They have dominated this game from wire to wire. Time possession, offensive explosiveness, defensive prowess. It's just been incredible. As we get a blitz now, Schmierman, he just tosses it, and it goes out of bounds. So Michigan gets the stop. But if Maryland can hang on, how high will they climb? Still a long ways away. 10 points is not much here in the SFA as we're going to get a punt return. Got Fritz on the return. He falls forward for nine. So Maryland's defense has come up clutch. A couple of sacks and interception on the last drive for our first turnover of the day. So John Hodges, can the coaches settle him down? That last one wasn't much his fault. They did decide to take a shot, but... 
you know, kind of an arm punt as he keeps this one. He gets it hit hard. Oh, my goodness. Ernest Wilson from the safety position. No regard for human life today. He has been elite. Second and five. We're under eight minutes, so the drive's really... You got to start hurrying it up. You can't do these uh, power pro-style offense too much as they almost jump. Quick throw. They're just throwing this one away now. Seeing that from both sides. Hodges, 11 for 22. Despite having seven points, they are uh, five of 11 on third down. Not too bad. They'd really like a conversion here. It's going to be a... Uh, oh, he breaks the sack! And he throws on the run. No, down he goes. Hodges couldn't escape. Brought down by Meadows, his second. And the and the Maryland defense has uh, has come through here as of late. The last couple of drives, we're going to get another punt here from Michigan. At what point are they going to have to start just going for it? Because I think one more score for Maryland could seal the game. So this is where uh, you separate great teams from good teams. Can Maryland shut the door? Don't let Michigan back into it. Schmierman, he has some time, just dumps it off here and gets about two. Takes what the defense gives him. Great day today from Jerry Schmierman. 17 to 22, two touchdowns, 225. Second and eight now incoming. They're going to start running that two minute offense here shortly as they're going to run the ball. And it, it really hasn't worked today. But because they de dedicated themselves to it, they've ran the ball well enough to dominate the time of possession. And that's really helped. I mean, 21 for 50 is not going to win you any awards, but it's a great day today. Third and nine here. Michigan desperately needs the stop. A little bunch formation. Got to watch Warden. Bottom of your screen. We haven't seen Pearson's name called at all as they're going to run the clock. So third and nine. Can Maryland keep the drive alive? Schmierman in shotgun. Snap is good. Only a three-man rush. They're going to yam it deep again. One-on-one -on -one and it's dropped. That's Pearson. He had it. The lights were too bright. That was his moment. Maryland leaves the door cracked here for Michigan. That's something you can't do against elite teams like Michigan. You cannot give them a chance. Yeah, the Michigan DBs have been atrocious today, but leaving the door open here. Here comes Michigan. Can they find something? No, a sack again! And that's number three for Meadows. As he ties a school record. Second and 17 now. Maryland desperately trying to hang on to this lead. Michigan's really not doing much. And it's going to be a draw here from Hodges. They're going to get back what they just lost on the sack. But once again, third and ten. Hodges gets back in the positive. Oh, no, only has five tackles. Really, I'm really losing confidence in Michigan's abilities, man. I yeah, got to see if they can... Uh, Find it. They got got to get something to fall their way. So we're going to get a screen passive draws. You got to make something happen. A nice move there, and it's going to be short. You got to think they're going to go for this. And they will. They're going for it here. Fourth and five on their own 46. We're in shotgun. Hodges floats that one out. A beautiful throw there, and that's an easy completion. David Greer. Every once in a while, man, Hodges is throwing a beautiful ball. So first and 10, we are under five minutes, though. Clock is starting to run. Hodges again. Free rusher. Jaws couldn't pick him up. 
man, are you at that that point you got to think he did it on purpose. Maryland just teeing off. That's their fourth or fifth sack in this quarter alone. Just going backwards, not going to help you out. Michigan, is they're going to do a deep drop here? Just dump it off to draws this time. He pushes for it a little bit, but still a third and long in coming. Did anybody have 17-7 on their bingo card for their bet? Because that's what is looking most likely, or 24-7, something like that. John Hodges... He's jamming this one to the corner, and it's way, way overthrown. So back on fourth down yet again. Can Michigan keep the drive alive? Hodges, he has some time. Floats that to the corner. Tipped away. Maryland takes over. And who else? Ernest Wilson makes the play. So despite the drop on the last drive, it's looking more and more like the Terrapins are going to get out of here with a win and pretty much control their own destiny in the division. They have win, they'll have they have wins over Michigan and Ohio State at this point, really the only contenders. Are we going to see an elite Maryland this year? Jerry Schmierman dumps that one off. Oh, it's tipped away. Second and ten here for Maryland. Remember, we could—I mean, we could still see a, a Florida State-esque uh, choke here. Didn't see earlier today. Mar or or Florida State had the win on the one-yard line. Decided to throw it three times and almost lost. They get a third down now. But this is this team's identity. They are a throw-first team. So third and four, they can really put pressure and probably win the game with a first down. They are just going to run the clock here. Play clock ticking down. Eight in the box here for Michigan. They have to have it. A stop here or the game is over. Schmierman hands it off and they get the blocking first down Maryland. Brent Jackson continues to run with purpose today. So now Michigan has to burn those timeouts. It's looking all but over here as you get a stiffy on Cheeto, and that's going to be another six yards. Anybody have 17-7? Got to be a real sicko to predict, to predict a 17-7 game, I got to be honest. As you get a handoff here, Jackson again, and he goes down again. All right, so another chance for Michigan. Had some beautiful plays today from Schmierman. Can they make one more? Up the middle, reverse field. There he goes. Brent Jackson breaks away. He finally gets a big time run. And that's going to seal it. No more timeouts. Inside the 20. So just over two minutes left here. And the Terrapins, the fans are cheering in College Park. It's going to be a party tonight. The Maryland Terrapins are back. They tie their win record from basically the last five seasons as they've been 5-7 and seven for no, who knows how long. This is a team that made the, made the national championship back in season six. And they've just not been able to do much in the modern era. This is a team that... It just feels better when Maryland is good in the SFA, and they are back, baby. The Terps. Dre Kirkpatrick is in attendance, the SFA player, the Hall of Famer. Hand off here. Jackson, he goes up the middle. Fourth down. They are going to have to uh, to take a field goal. So if somebody did have 20-7, uh, to seven, you might be getting lucky here. Did anybody have 20 to 7 is their bet? I don't think this really impacts uh, the over 
under, no, because that's in the 50s. We're hitting an under for sure today. So to go up by 13 here for the Terps, a chip shot, and it is good. So just some garbage time is all that's left, folks. The, your Maryland Terrapins are going to get the upset. Now, how high are they going to climb in the coaches' poll? We've seen a very vol volatile coaches' poll this season. Um, the, the coaches are not afraid to, uh, to, to move guys up a ton if they are impressive. Um, we'll see. Can Maryland maybe crack? For sure, they'll, they'll crack the top ten, but do you have them crack in the top five? Who knows? Maryland been impressive, but you got teams like Arizona, East Carolina, North Carolina. You obviously got Oklahoma. You got LSU. A lot of undefeated teams still left. So nine seconds left here. I think I need like a 40-yard run from James Draws here to, to hit my bet, unfortunately. As I'm going to dump that off. And there's another drop. So six seconds left here. The fat lady is singing in College Park. The Terps, the Turtles, they're cooking. Hodges. And he's yamming it deep here. And it's going to be tipped away. And as we hit triple zeros here in week six game day, the Terps have done it. Coach Papa Smoke beats Ohio State. He beats Michigan. And they are 5-0, and controlling their own destiny in the division. Jerry Schmierman, the man who is left out for dead, was brought into Maryland. He is the guy. They bring in Bryson Warden, and they shock the world here in season 14. The Terps win it 20 to 7 here on game day. An absolute classic. A, a defensive masterpiece, really, from both sides. And just a great football game here in the SFA. We uh thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you back here Thursday morning for uh for s week 7 game day. Peace. All right. So, as always guys, we are going to check the stats and stuff before we get out of here. Um As always, few housekeeping items. Bonds will be available tonight. Highlights go up tomorrow. Um, if you want to see a game recap, uh, go over to the Instagram here in about 10 to 15 minutes, and I'll post one about this game. And uh, and then head to the Discord, and I'll post recruits. As always, I will post all the Bear Cave results and the game day results here as well in the Discord. And um, if you're on game day, if you're on uh, Bear Cave today as a coach, even if you're on Watch Party, you can head over to the press conference uh, that will be held here in a little bit. And you can take questions or you can ask questions as Jerry Schmierman, a uh, big time game here today. No interceptions. He had those two big touchdowns. Brent Jackson had, I mean, he was an important piece of this game despite not really playing all that well. You know, establishing the time of possession is really what, what he uh, was able to do today. And Pearson, he had one bad drop, but he dominated this game. And then Bryson Warden, one catch, one touchdown, 78 yards boom yeah i yeah rick i should have kept my stocks but you know what i i really just got rid of it for georgia tech stock so like i'm still making money it's just a different team right so uh sussy well he did struggle but you know he did okay and ernest wilson have yourself a day yamara ono gets six tackles in terms of tfls mike meadows gets three and then all these other guys get one three sacks for meadows one from johnson the one interception from Brandon Slater was the guy who did it in, at the end of the third quarter. And a bunch of deflections here today. They were really active in pass defense. No fumbles. And just an all-around great day of Bobby Moyer, two for two. And then Michigan, John Hodges. He didn't play all that bad. Um, you you would have liked a bit more consistency. He threw the ball away a lot. Um, made some bad throws. And James Draws, I mean... Would have liked a little bit more yards after contact, maybe, but 
Um, just a, a tough day for Mayor or for Michigan. You know, seven, anytime you only put seven points on the board, you're going to be disappointed. And uh, ten TFLs, Bry Byron and Cheeto, they didn't really make too big of an impact. As only two sacks for them, no interceptions, no deflect or two deflections, and no fumbles forced. And that is where we are going to end things. I'm going to check the players of the game. Yes, sir. It was, uh, Nick, it was a very defensive game today. A lot of running the ball, a lot of, uh, a lot of, it, but it was a very, uh, I feel like very action packed, with the, or at least the, the high powered moments were very high powered. So I think it was a great game day. Um, as always, highlights will be out tomorrow. Uh, but once again, folks, uh, head over to Discord, check out the, uh, press conference, listen in, ask questions, get involved, and, um, and yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And let me complete the uh, prediction. Hold on before we get out of here. I always forget to do that. So only 9% of you guys picked Maryland today. So all those Bobanos go into the 9%. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you Thursday morning for week 7. Peace.